Hi. Hi. Yeah. So let me just put this here and uh, see. Okay. So hi everyone. Uh, my name is Abel. I'm from the Federal University of Paraná in Brazil. You're all welcome there. Uh, I'm going to present to you a few package of the Julius Mood optimizers. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to hold this of the Julius Mood Optimizers Organization. Uh, it's uh, a bunch of packages for nonlinear optimization, for nonlinear optimization continuously mainly, and some linear algebra packages. Um, it's a joint work with Dominique and a few other collaborators. These uh, packages are created from our demands, so we have our, our research projects and they are being developed by uh, uh, what we are focusing on at the moment, so they are slowly being developed. Uh, integrates very well with MathProc Base and Jump, so the current version of Jump. Uh, and we also have been developing some solvers, uh, focusing on large-scale solvers. Similar work has been done in, in, in Python optimizers uh, before this one. So the, the packages are uh, roughly divided in five categories. Uh, model creation, model creation, uh, collections of problems, linear algebra, uh, methods, and some extra tools. The model creation is ex ex uh, actually one package, NLP models. This package defines nonlinear programming models and a an unified API to access them. Uh, these models can be created in many ways. Some models provide sparse der derivatives and some provide efficient matrix-free products, sometimes both. And uh, creating a new model type should be easy. Here is an example I hope you can see well. Uh, I have three ways of creating models here. The first one is uh, forward diff automatic differentiation way in which I pass the function and a starting point. Uh, here I have the cutest model, uh, which I will explain uh, shortly. It gets Rosenbrock from a list of problems and just creates the model. And here I have the current jump way of creating the model. I create an, an NL model and I create this MathProg NLP model, uh, which converts the, the jump model to my NLP model. And uh, the fun thing of this is that I have a unified API to access uh, the, the nonlinear um, functions. Here, OBJ, Grad, and Hess, they get the, the, the objective function, the gradient, and the Hessian of these uh, models. Uh, here, you can see that they are almost the same, apart from the sparsity. And uh, what I can do with this is that I can create a model, a, a, a solver, I'm sorry, that accepts a single model. It doesn't care what kind of model it is. And I can just uh, implement my solver knowing that I can create a simple model to test it and then use the cutest library to actually compare it with uh, powerful solvers and uh, hopefully publish it. So uh, this is a simple implementation of Newton with uh, Armijo line search. And here is uh, uh, the function call of Newton NLP, which can receive any of these three methods that I've created before. We have more methods, of course. Uh, here is the unified API available. Uh, all these functions, which essentially are the objective function and derivatives and the uh, constraints and derivatives. And here, uh, I also show how to access them uh, using the NLP meta uh, included inside each NLP model. So you can have a bunch of things here. This actually, um, is very old, it was part of uh, Jump at some point, shared by Jump maybe. Uh, another integration that we have with MathProc Base is that we can use the, the solvers that works with uh, MathProc Base models in the NLP models. So here I create the cutest model and I solve it with IPopt. So it's a, an extra line to call the model and convert it to uh, a MathProc Base model. Here is just showing that I can uh, get the function evaluations from these models. And uh, as I said, creating a new model should be easy. 
you can you can have just to extend the abstract NLP model, and define some specific API functions. Uh, for instance, here I have a Slack model which receives another model and creates a Slack version of that model. Uh, another extended model is non-linear least squares model, something that I work now. Um, apart from being an NLP, it's also a model which has a residual function f. Uh, you can work, and you can, for instance, call IP opt on this, and it will work on this kind of f. But you can also create a specific model and get the residuals. Here is a way to create it using jump. You define the the model and some NL expressions, which you name it, and you pass them to the MathProg NLS model. This way you, you can just use the regular jump with a few extra steps to create a nonlinearly squares problem. Uh, on the collection of problems, we have uh, the classic Qtest, which for those uh, who do not know, Qtest uh, is very used in community, in academic community, to compare solvers because it has uh, 1,300 problems, constrained and unconstrained, on a general nonlinear uh, optimization. Uh, we have an API to access these problems, which is the same QTS API and this new NLP models API. We also have optimization problems, JL, and LNS problems, JL, which are collections of, uh, of uh, uh, NLP and LLS problems. The optimization problems, problems, optimization problems, problems are implemented in Jump, so they are available to use uh, directly from Jump, uh, but they can also be passed for the MathProg model. And the NLS models are using uh, that MathProg NLS model I just presented. Some classic collections, for instance, Moriagabo Hillstrom, are implemented. Uh, more are welcome. I have a current problem, uh, which is I have no way to classify and query these problems efficiently. Uh, that is something, if you have something other than simply a large table, I'll be happy to discuss this. And uh, for the second half of the presentation, I'm going to focus on the development of large-scale uh, methods. So I'm going to present some tools for that. One of these tools is linear operators, which provides matrix-like entities which are lazy, so you can wrap a matrix, uh, this around the matrix to have lazy multiplication. Uh, but you can also use it to, to produce uh, a matrix-like operator that uh, works on vectors. For instance, the Jacobian Hessian vector, J Jacobian vector products or Hessian vector products. You can just say uh, that this J prod NLP XV is what happens when I multiply t times v. So you can have something that is easy to present, but is also, also efficient. These linear operators also implement the limited memory, BFGS and Symmetric Rent 1 updates. Uh, they are already uh, implemented in the NLP models. If you call JACOP NLPX and HASOP NLPX, you have the corresponding linear operator. And uh, another important tool is Krilov, in which solves linear systems, least squares and least norm problems by iterative uh, methods. Uh, I have here two examples. This one is the Newton system, which I can solve it by calling has op and opx, and uh, calling cg with this matrix, matrix-like thing, and minus the gradient. So this is efficient because it doesn't use, the, doesn't create the matrix. It uses only the uh, Hessian vector multiplication. Krilov accepts both matrices and linear operators. So you can pass the uh, matrix, for instance, if you have, if, if you prefer, for instance, for your calculation of um, factorization or something. Uh, here is a, an example to uh, approximate uh, the Lagrangian multipliers by least squares which I get the uh, Jacobian linear operator, and I call uh, CGLS with this Jacobian transposed. Also, this Jacobian transpose doesn't uh, compute any transpose. It just uses the, the corresponding 
Jacobian product or Jacobian transpose product to find this, uh, this approximation. The Krilov methods, some of them also work with truss regions. So here I have a quadratic problem with truss region. I just add a radius argument. And uh, these are three possibilities. Uh, in this case of conjugate gradient, it's using stay how to one method to obtain approximation to the solution. And uh, I can also work with uh, LBFGS and uh, the inverse LBFGS operators. Here I compute uh, an update of these operators and uh, I can use it on the conjugate gradient method or directly h times v. So both of these things are the same in this non-scaling uh, approximation. On the nonlinear optimization methods that we are developing, we have this optimize package, which is not yet released. It doesn't have a stable release yet. It contains tools for line search and trust region methods that we used in our methods here. Uh, we have implemented two unconstrained methods, LBFJS and trunk, and Tron for bound constraint problems. They are focusing on large scale factorization free. And this optimize also contains tools for benchmarking, including the benchmark profiles, which are the performance and data profiles. And this is a way that you can uh, compare these solvers in the third line, LBF, JS, and trunk, in problems from the cutest collections from 100 to 10,000 variables and uh, six lines. So this benchmarking profile will run everything and, and produce a performance profile for you which in this case is this performance profile. So in addition, uh, I made a comparison against Optings, LBFJS. Here I have a wrapper around Opting, so this Opting method receives uh, an LPA. I do whatever is necessary to run on Optimize, that, that Optings optimize. And I return a generic execution stats, which is something contained in the Optimize package to compare against our methods. So here is a comparison using the number of function evaluations and the uh, elapsed time and uh, from 100 to 10,000 variables. Our method is uh, a little more robust and efficient than Optims. This is in the number of function evaluations and in elapsed time also, although not so uh, prevalent. In summary for the nonlinear uh, development, uh, the, the development of nonlinear solvers. We have NLP models for easy model creation, QTIS and some other problem repositories for easy access. We have linear operators and Krilov methods for factorization free methods, and optimized for benchmarking and sub problem solving. On our future work, we have this NLS cone which are constrained on linearly square solvers, is, is currently what I'm working on. We have code updates planned on Julia 1.0 and the MOI interface, which I hope will be very easy to do. We also have type stability issues that we hope to uh, fix by the end of this well, month, a year, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we have a general constraint solver plan and a stable version of Optimize, which we hope to release soon. Uh, we also work, uh, intend to work a little with parameter optimization, especially automatic parameter optimization. And we would like to have more problems natively in Julia uh, and some problem classification. Uh, on a long-term basis, we are looking at uh, CUDA-based uh, solvers and linear algebra tools. And we don't know yet what we can accomplish with that, but Julia makes it very easy for that to happen. So some references, and thank you very much. <laughs>